Greetings changed in Europe, the Middle East and Africa. I'm Yvette Essent for AMVest TV at the Insurance Market Briefing Europe event and I'm joined by Greg Carter, Managing Director of Analytics, to talk through some of the changes and the drivers for change. Can you explain to me first of all what have been the ratings actions in the last year for this region? There have been a number of rating actions mixed between upgrades and downgrades. What we haven't seen is a significant shift in one direction over the other. And when you drill deeper into the drivers of those rating actions, there's quite diverse reasons. If you apply our new building block methodology and look at the individual components of the rating, you've seen rating actions caused by movements both in balance sheet strength as well as operating performance, and also some movements caused by changes in business profile, one or two ratings being moved largely because of weaknesses in ERM. So it's quite a wide range of reasons that have driven rating actions. How would you describe market conditions in the markets that we're covering, starting with Western Europe? Conditions in Western Europe have been highly competitive. It's a marketplace that's well served by many insurers and they're competing for business that isn't growing dramatically. Growth in the underlying business is largely driven by growth in GDP. And since the global financial crisis, we've seen fairly sluggish growth rates across those markets. And what about in the Middle East and Africa? In the Middle East and Africa, we've seen the impact of oil prices, particularly in the last couple of years, that's had a negative impact on growth. That's because countries have had to look very closely at their budgets and have often scaled down their investment in infrastructure and oil and gas exploration and that's had an impact on the insurance market as there have been fewer insurable risks being created. One trend we've noticed is obviously the M&A activity that's been taking place around the world. What is driving this merger and acquisition activity and do you expect it to continue? M&A is largely driven by excess capacity and excess capital in the marketplace and that's what we've seen in recent years and without that lack of major growth opportunities M&A is one way for companies to grow significantly. It's also a way for companies to uh, achieve economies of scale and drive efficiencies into their business uh, and that's clearly been a driver and we would expect that to continue as there is still excess capacity across the marketplace and growth, growth prospects remain modest. Besides M&A, what do you think people will be focusing on going forward? I think one of the issues that the industry is going to face is IFRS 17. And the industry has been pushing back on the implementation period. The industry is really looking for a, a larger grace period, if you like, for the implementation of IFRS 17. Although it's been coming for a long time, the deadline now is, has been set and the final implementation plans are, are quite uh, extreme, quite strict. Uh, and c Companies are really trying to push back on that. So an exciting year ahead for the market. For AM Best TV at the Insurance Market Briefing Europe, I'm Yvette Essen.